Dear distinguished members of the European Union Parliament, I am Lisa Peng, daughter of political dissident Mr. Peng Ming. I would like to thank you for reaffirming the universal values of human rights, freedom, and justice for not only my father, but for the many others like him. I know that my father would be very grateful for your efforts to revive his mission. My father, Mr. Peng Ming, is an environmentalist, an economist, and a human rights activist. He was the founder of China Development Union, an organization which sponsored think tanks that gave his fellow Chinese citizens the opportunity to discuss highly censored topics like human rights, freedom, and justice. As a result, in 1999, my father was sentenced to 18 months of re-education through labor camp. At the time, I was two years old. Upon his release, my father was faced with the possibility of a second arrest, and so my entire family, my mother, father, brother, and I, fled from political persecution to the United States in 2001, where all of us were granted official UN refugee status. But 18 months of labor camp did not stop my father from continuing to stand up for human rights. In 2004, when I was eight years old, my father went to Thailand to establish a safe haven for persecuted refugees. There, he was lured by eight Chinese secret police to the border of Thailand and Burma, where he was kidnapped at gunpoint and brought back to the Communist Party in China, the regime that had persecuted him in 1999, the regime that has now sentenced him to life in prison. The United Nations Working Group for Arbitrary Detention has determined that my father's arrest is an arbitrary deprivation of his liberty. But although my father has been denied the exercise of his right to freedom of expression, he continues to exercise physically, mentally, and spiritually. Despite nearly 10 years in prison suffering massive heart attacks and chronic kidney stones with no medical care, my father still persists. He is a man of faith. He is a hopeful father, brother, and son. And it is this hope that my father has instilled in me, despite the thousands of miles that have separated him from nearly a decade of my life, a decade of childhood memories, emotional growth, and intellectual maturity. It is this hope that makes me optimistic about the future, about the possibility of telling my father in person how much we have all cared for him and his dream to secure human rights, freedom, and justice in China. I hope that my father will be given proper medical attention and visitation rights, and ultimately, I seek his release. And I know that my dream to be reunited with my father and my father's dream for his country will come true with your support, persistence, and affirmation of the universal and fundamental values of human rights, freedom, and justice. Thank you.